Hey everyone, Boston Jen here to share another week's worth of crafty adventures here in my neck of the woods. Thought we'd start outside with a little bit of nature and a visit from what I call my neighbors. Then we've got some sweater knitting, a thrifting haul, making some applesauce, a December daily prep, and my mom trying on her sweater, and some furniture refinishing. So I hope that you will join us for the journey. I'm really excited this morning. There's a patch of land near our house that Dan told me was conservation land and that I could go walk it. That He had heard it from his cousin who's a police officer. And I started up the trail this summer and there were big no trespassing signs. So I quickly got off the land. And now there's a big sign posted saying that it's part of the town conservation land and that we're able to use it. And I'm so excited. So there's a very wide path here, which I'm just a little ways into now. So I'm curious to see where it goes. There are some smaller paths that are marked off that are small trails within the woods. So I'm so excited to explore. It's Saturday morning and I am working on getting past the raglan increases for mom's wave of change jacket so that I can hopefully split for the sleeves and bring it over for her to try it on this weekend so I can figure out if it's looking the way we want so that she can, I can keep knitting it for her so that I'll hopefully have it ready for Christmas. So it is looking pretty good so far. This is my last wrong side row, and then I need to split for the stitches, and I'll try to do probably a row or two, just so we have a little bit for her to work with. So I have um, floss toss on my TV, um, and I'm just gonna settle in for a little bit of knitting, so I'll catch up with you soon. Hey, hey, it's me again, checking in again on Saturday morning. I am going to be doing some classes today through Allie Edwards. She's got a whole program set up for December Daily, which I'm planning to do this year to say to share old December stories from Christmas's past. But before that gets started, I thought I would show you some things that I scored at the thrift shop yesterday. I went out to Savers yesterday afternoon when I finished up work, and I'm going to show you some fun things that I got. Okay, you ready to see my haul? This is what I got last night when I was out. So the first thing here is just a pair of socks that I got for Dan. I've gotten some like this from him before. I think that they're wool, but either way, he likes them. They're nice and cushy in the feet. And I think those were two bucks. I got this cool basket. I, I'm going to plan to sand down the top and either paint it or I don't know. We'll see, but it's a, it's a good sized basket. I got this. I like these 16 ounce jars. So you could easily fit two of those, if not something else, inside. I got this cute little wood thing to add to a Christmas gift that I'm giving for this year. $1.99. I also had a 20% off coupon, so I didn't pay that. <laughs> Any of these sticker prices. This is some old school Tupperware. And I bought this because I recently purchased something to put bacon in because we've been eating bacon more regularly. And Dan said he didn't think it was sealing well. And I figured old school Tupperware seals really well. So he thinks that's going to work. I need to wash that. I got this for my niece Hattie. It's a lot of sort of childish and easy things that I think her mom could do with her that I think would be really fun and uses just things that you might have around the house. I think, I think the books are all around three or four dollars, so you can't beat that. Tim McLeod, fun and easy crafting with recycled materials. 
So that is for Hattie. And then I got this from me. They actually had two of these, an older version from 2002. And this one came out in 2012, Donna Cooler's Encyclopedia of Crochet. So at the back, there's a whole big stitch dictionary, which is pretty cool. So I didn't even really pour through it very well, but I always like to add to my library, especially when things cost $3.99. And then I got for my niece, Ayla, she really likes these Christopher Hart drawing books. And this one's cartooning for beginners. So I thought this might be a good one for her. I got her another animal drawing one before. And some of the things she's done with it already are fantastic. So Christopher Hart, highly recommend his books. Again, four bucks plus coupon. Can't complain. And then I also got this really cool easel for her, it was eight bucks and it's adjustable and it's wood. So I love having things that aren't plastic. I got this cute little pouch for myself. It actually matches the purse that I've been using recently. So that is for me. It would also be a great little notions pouch. And then I went to the craft store and I received some silver yarn that I'd been looking for from Donna, one of my lovely listeners. Thank you, Donna. But I figured having metallic yarn seems to be a thing I might need to have. And they had this at Joanne, Big Twist Twinkle. And it's beautiful, silver, gray, and sparkly. So I'm excited to have enough of that on hand. And then they had these canvases on sale at Michael. So I picked those up for Ayla as well. And then a few things for my little Christmas project. These are just some Mombi stickers with some cute little sayings and stuff on them. So I thought that would be good. So now I'm going to start going through my materials. I haven't decided if I'm going to do an 8x8 or a 12x12 album. So I'm going to pull out my supplies and see what makes sense. Some more to come. I've started sorting some pictures and I thought I would show you some of the basic categories um, and some stories that I want to tell for my Christmas album. This is a picture of my niece Millie eating our traditional Christmas cookies that my Aunt Millie used to make and I know I have some more pictures that I can print to go with this. These are some Christmas outings that we did in my parents town with Riley and Garrett I think before Millie was born. I think so, or she was too little to go. Another thing that my family used to do, we haven't done in a couple of years, are these uh, Natalie ladies, um, what do we call them? Like night out or dinner or whatever, where we would go to a show. So I have a bunch of pictures of that. This is a Christmas party that we do every year with some of our friends. That's a nice tradition. We've got um, the chaos that is opening Christmas presents at my parents' house and also lots of squeezes and hugging and lots of interaction. We've got Christmas pancakes. Actually, that is apparently a giraffe, um, but Dan makes pancakes on Christmas morning usually. We always use Teddy Ruxpin and read Teddy Ruxpin books, so that's going to be a story. Another story is all of our Christmas sleepovers. There's tons of pictures in that pile. A tradition I've had with Ayla since she was little is going to the Enchanted Village. This is our favorite scene from Enchanted Village with the little teddy bear there. We used to do, oh, this is another um, friend party that we go to every year. This is, we used to go to Dan's Cousins for Christmas Eve and we'd play left, right, center. And this is like the perfect picture from that. So that's great. My tradition with Will was always going on the Polar Express. So I have a bunch of different years of him at Polar Express and a couple with the other kids too. We've got, I'm um, going to the Nutcracker, um, and I'll probably also include Ayla has been in the Boston Ballet's nut, Nutcracker. So these will be Nutcracker pictures. Another one I know I have more pictures of somewhere are the kids' Christmas recital, but here are two that I already had printed. Then we have, um, as part of our Christmas sleepovers, we also have Christmas pancakes that Dan does with the kids. Then I have getting the tree and tree decorating and um, getting gifts from the kids. How cute is this? This is a text from my best friend. Will had to bring in a shopping list for his holiday shopping spree. Here it is in this order. Auntie Jen, pause. Uncle Danny, Emmeline, Oshin, Ayla. Nanny and Grandpa, hmm, who else? <laughs> Apparently his parents didn't make the cut. And then I want to talk about how I started learning to crochet so that I could 
continue the tradition of making these stockings. And then I'm also gonna have a set of stories about giving handmaids for Christmas and how well they're received. So that is what I've cut so far. As usual, I always have too many photos and this is an even 25 stories, which is what my goal is. But I'm excited to continue to looking through my supplies to see what I wanna to put together. Okay, I've done an initial sort now on all of my stuff. And of course I had more supplies than I even realized I did. The way that I've organized this is scraps of pattern paper that I can make into little embellishments or use for different pockets and things. This is full 12 by 12 paper. This is scraps of mostly sort of non-pattern paper or things that I might use in the background. I've got all my stickers, different things like that. I found even more pictures, so I need to put those back into the sort that I've already done. I found some sort of miscellaneous embellishments, things of different kinds of material, you know, vellum and um, bamboo and things like that. I've got my smaller two by three, I think it is, or three by four sized, I guess it's three by four, and then four by six pre-printed pages. I've got some paper embellishments and some sort of specialty paper. And yeah, so that's what I've got to work with so far. I'm actually trying to figure out if I'm going to start kidding things up. Like some of these little stickers stay, say cookies. So I could put those with the picture of my Aunt Millie's cookie. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna start doing that or not yet. I have decided that for sure I'm going to go with the 12 by 12 album. I have a ridiculous number of different sized pocket protectors. This is part of Becky Higgins Project Life system. So I've got pictures that are four by six and then also some smaller ones that are this three by four size. So some of those can be slipped right into the pockets, which will make that nice and easy. So, oh my goodness, we have so many fun pictures to pick from. This is gonna be a difficult to do project. I also want to include a lot of pictures from my childhood. So I have the challenge set up before me, but this is what the supplies are looking like right now. More to come. All right, one more organizational step has been crossed. I've put all of my stickers, including a whole bunch of alphabet stickers that I found in this little case. I've separated my papers into whole 12 by 12 pattern papers here and then scraps of sort of plain versus pattern paper on the side. In here, as I drop everything, are most of my tools, different adhesives. I have another tape runner that I'll use primarily. Some strings and other little bips and bobs. My circle cutters, which I like a lot. I have three sizes of those and a corner rounder. I put all my Christmas washi tape in there, all different fun little ones. So those are all together. I have a couple ink pads that I'll use maybe to distress some edges or do things like that. Then I separated my little bits of paper embellishments into here. Then I have my two different sizes of cards, different tags here, and I've finished sorting my picture. So things are shaping up. I think I'm just gonna kind of kit this up and find a spot to put it together somewhere here in the studio until I'm ready to start it, which probably won't be today. Happy Sunday morning. I'm out from my walk before I really get my day started, but I just wanted to check in and say hello. We had an excellent day yesterday. We spent the evening celebrating Halloween, postponed from last weekend when it snowed, popped some champagne to celebrate the Biden-Harris win and had a campfire and a pinata and celebrated a good friend's birthday and it was just excellent. So I have a very full day again today, lots of fun stuff. So I'll try to take you along with me the best that I can. When I got back in from my walk, I knew I wanted to start in on my applesauce so I could put it in the crock pot and it would be ready for when I got back home at the end of the day. I don't do anything special with my applesauce. The one thing I try to go for is having several different varieties of apples. This week I think I had five different kinds just based on whatever came in my Misfits box 
and what I was able to pick up locally at Whole Foods. And then I just add a touch of water and a whole bunch of cinnamon and I put it on low for several hours and it usually comes out delicious. The reason I'm making applesauce this week is that Dan, who doesn't normally eat sweets, was interested for some reason in having homemade vanilla ice cream and some sort of apple dessert. So in addition to the applesauce, I am making a sort of a, a makeshift oat topping with a little bit of brown sugar, some butter, some cinnamon. I ended up adding a little bit of honey as well, and it came out delicious. So you'll see how that all comes together in our little Sundays that we ended up having for dinner on Sunday night. Next, we're going to head over to let mom try on her sweater, but I thought I'd give you another peek at the beautiful foliage we still have here. Hey guys, I'm here with mom at my grandmother's house. Hi everyone, how are you? Hopefully you can hear us with our masks on, but um, I have mom's wave of change jacket for her to try on. So I'm going to flip the camera around and see what she thinks. Okay. Look at this, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. You know, I have trouble, Jen. You're gonna have to put tags on the inside, <laughs> on the bottom, because what do <laughs> right I- Right side up. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I always wear everything inside out. Oh, oh my, I love the variegated. The variegation, yeah. Oh my God. I do too, I'm alternating Oops. skeins. Sorry, That's can't okay. see you. Here we go. No, but look at this. What am I looking at? Jen made this beautiful sweater. Wait a minute. Is it kind of short? Yeah, it's <laughs> All right, so I think we've decided it's a hit. You're liking the patterning. I love it. You are liking the fit. It feels comfortable. Oh, yes. Except for when I first put it on, all those white... Like yeah. Now I'm getting tied up again. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's walking. because I'm walking in circles and I have the ball of yarn. Yeah, great. We are I'm so like, good okay, at this. What is happening? <laughs> so I put it on waist yarn so that you wouldn't have to get stabbed by needles because surely you would, would have, have been stabbed. Yes. Oh, um, why? Because you know me? A little bit. A little oh. bit. Yeah. Well, for those of you who don't know, you might have already told them, this is the yarn that we picked out at the New York Sheep and Wolf Festival. Um, in 2019. And I don't know who, and oh. those of you who know me <laughs> will not expect anything less. I do not know what color or who I'm wearing, but this. So I, the, I looked it up. The only thing I was able to find is that it's Bat and Kill Fiber Mill. There yeah. was, there, there was no color. Right. There was oh, no yay! tags. There was no <laughs> yarn base. So you don't ever have to remember that. So it's blue. It's blue. It's it's perfect. That's all I have to Boston say. Boston Jones Mom Blue. That's what we're calling it. Yeah, <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> well, I love it. All right. Um, thank you so much. You are welcome. Yes, it's it's, it's going to get bigger before you will, see it again. <laughs> it will cover the the Corona um 15 yes it will cover all although of this is kind of strange because every time i go for my infusion i lose weight and yeah. i'm like i ask the last time i went i'm like are your scales right because this is not right <laughs> hey I, maybe you can't see it i could see it but <laughs> oh, uh, oh well yeah so that's it i love it all right christmas well, here i come we'll do another try on again soon and we'll share Oh, we get to wear it again? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll probably do a sleeve so you can test oh, out the sleeve. Long. And then we'll probably do the body before I get to the hem. So okay. you probably do two more try-ons. Okay. Okay. Well, and you know, like, I like to be able to push them up. So I don't care if it comes, like, down like that. Yeah. Oh, you know what would even be cool? Thumb holes. <laughs> we could do thumb holes. Absolutely. Like my favorite. Like your jacket. That Jenny gave me that I've tried to replace and can never get the right one yes maybe those we will can... be my new mitts so i'll i'll put that in and then if you decide you don't like it we'll just rip it back it'll be like two inches of knitting so okay excellent yeah like i said to you it's going to be custom made for you so we might as well just keep trying it on you and then you'll know if you like now, it now do we have did you say we have buttons 
Um, no. So we'll decide that when we get a little further. It doesn't call for buttons, but if you think that you would like it, then we can add them. Or I never button. I didn't think so. The other thing you could do is either like a toggle or maybe put snaps on the inside if you wanted to. So I would say right now, I would say no, because usually I just leave it open or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, we are going to sign off. We'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks a bunch. Thanks, Mom. Bye. When I left mom, I headed over to my best friend's house. She has a desk that belongs to my great aunt Millie and was used by my brother when we were growing up, but they have decided after a number of years, they finally have the time to refinish it. So the top is going to be stained and the bottom is going to be painted white. And she thought it would be nice if I was able to come over and help since it was my aunt's desk. So I think it's going to be really beautiful when it's done. And we had a great time just chatting and hanging out on the desk. And then in the evening, when Dan and I were ready, I put that topping on our applesauce, got out the ice cream, which we had delivered from Hornstra Farms this week and our regular delivery, and it was delicious. So I hope that you had a good week too, and I will catch up with you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.